Hey guys, it's Eddie the Magic Monk. In this video, we're going to talk about how to use the binomial distribution tables to solve problems to do with binomial distribution. So let's just give you guys a quick problem. Assuming that the chance of a tree surviving its first year is 40%. Out of 15 trees, what is the chance that exactly 3 will survive? Now this is obviously a binomial distribution because each, um, each event has two possible outcomes. Either you survive or you don't. So the probability of success, which is P, is 0.4. So 40% is equivalent to 0 0.4 and the number of trials is 15 and um, we want to find out what is the chance of getting exactly 3 trees. X is equal to 3. 3 out of 15 trees. So instead of using the formula, today I want to introduce you to the binomial distribution table. So what you do with this table is that you just simply look for n, which in this case is uh, 15. So out of this table, I've just done a screenshot of it. But down the left hand side, you're going to see different numbers for n. So I have n equals 15, n equals 20. So obviously we don't need this one because in our example n is 15. So you go to n is 15 and then it says x is equal to 3. So um, you will see in our previous examples that r is basically x. So you just go to where r is 3 and highlight that. Choose a dark, darker color. R is 3, highlight that, and then you want to go to uh, probability of success is 0 0.4, so you go to 0 0.4, and then you go to where the, two, the row and the column intersects, so the answer is 0 0.0634. zero point zero six three four okay and that is the answer so that's how you would use that table so why would you use a table versus typing it into the calculator very simple if i give you a harder question so in this question it says out of 15 trees what is the chance that between three to seven trees will survive so if you were using the calculator, you would have to type in the probability of x being 3 is n c r p to the power of r q to the power of n minus r. So um, you're going to go, uh, what is it, n is 15, c 3, 0 0.4 to the power of 3. 0 0.6 to the power of 15 minus 3 and then you're going to keep going for um, when c is 4 x is 4 so you're going to go probability of x is 4 repeat this except you have 15 c 4 0 0.4 to the power of 4 0 0.6 to the power of 15 minus 4 and then you're going to keep going until p is 7 you're going to go x is 5, x is 6, x is 7. You're going to type all of this into the calculator, dot, 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 type all that in. And then you're going to add them together. Whereas with the table, you can simply go, okay, out of 15 trees. So here's 15 trees. Use a different color this time. Here's 15 trees. And we want between 3 to 7 surviving. So you just highlight 3 to 7. And again we have 0 0.4. So you just highlight 3 to 7 in this column. And just add these together. So it's a lot quicker because the numbers are 
already visible, so you can just copy these numbers down. Um, so you can just go 0 0.0634 plus 0 0.1268 plus 0 0.1859 plus 0 0.2066 plus 0 0.1771 and type all of this into the calculator and the answer is 0 0.7598 so you save a lot of time from having to type it into the calculator so I'm going to give you another example and I'm going to show you how to use a different table a drug is effective in treating 80% of its patients. If 25 patients are treated, what is the chance that 17 or less patients are treated successfully? So what does this mean? It means that um, if we used our old table, we need to add up a lot of numbers. We need to add up so on our table let's say we go to n is 25 because 25 patients are treated we need to add up the probability for when x is equal to 1 x is equal to 2 3 all the way up to x is 17 we need to add up the probabilities we've got to add up all of these probabilities now that takes way too long and that is why there is another table that you could use. So this table is called the cumulative binomial distribution table. And rather than giving you the probability that each X value would occur, it gives you the running total of the probability. So it gives you the probability of x being smaller than or equal to a certain number to occur so if you want the probability of x is smaller than or equal to 17 like in our question where we want 17 or less patients rather than adding up so this is a different table to the previous one because it's the cumulative table so rather than adding up all the numbers under the 0 0.8 0 0.8 uh, probability column rather than adding up all of these numbers up to 17 the answer is simply that this single number in the 17 in the 17th row so the answer is just 0 0.1091 and that's it right because you can see at the heading of this table it says probability of x being smaller than or equal to a certain number so that's why it's the cumulative it's done the adding up for you already so you don't need to do it again okay what if i want probability of x being bigger than 17 Right, so let's say I rephrase the question. What is the chance that 17, that more than 17, more than 17 patients are treated successfully? Then what you do is you simply go one, which is the, which is the probability, um, which is the probability of the whole situation, minus. 0 0.1091 okay and then that will tell you the um, probability of getting more than 17 patients and the answer is 0 0.8909 okay guys thanks for watching the tutorial on how to use binomial distribution tables see you next time